Diesel is the Natford Harbour shunter. He gets all the trains ready for the bigger engines and takes others apart, moving them around the docks. He still thinks he's the new face of the railway and often smiles when he sees one of the diesels pulling a goods train. One morning, Boko pulled in with a goods train from the China clay pits. He seemed less than impressed and the view of diesel sliding alongside to fetch the trucks didn't. How is the other railway, Boko? New schemes, I presume. You ask this every time I come here and every time it's the same answer. There are no steam engines on the main line but they have their own little railways now like the island. Diesel smiled. He was about to speak when James shuffled in with two strange yellow and green looking diesels. They looked like OAs, but different in some way. Diesel was impressed. Neither James nor Boko were happy with the new arrivals, who were loud and obnoxious. Well, Bert, we're here at last. Now take over to the yards and make them better. This time we heard that, we ended up with him. Here we go again, eh? True. Just then the harbour master walked up, not best pleased with the idle chatter in the yard. Despicable. James, you have somewhere else to be. Go now or I'll tell the fat controller. James puffed off to collect his fitted goods for the other railway. The harbour master turned to the two new arrivals. Now you two, listen to Diesel, he'll tell you what to do. He knows this yard better than any other engine. And with that, the station master left. Diesel looked at the new engines. Nice to have some more eights like me about. Now then, we shall start. We know what to do here. We ain't oh eights either. We're thirteens. We are better than you. Come on, Harry. With that, they rattled off into the yards. Diesel was a bit hurt. Shows you didn't they? Now I heard something like that before. Diesel banged the wagons hard and began to roughly sort them, rattling the goods inside. Oh, oh, stop! You're never this bad with us. We'll pay you back, we'll pay you back. The trucks clattered angrily. Throughout the day, Diesel tried to show Harry and Bert what to do, but they didn't listen. We are newer, said Harry. We are better, said Bert. I better make way, old timer. Diesel watched them marshal the trains. They would let trucks roll away from them, and sometimes they would go into place. Other times, the trucks would stop short and the two would have to go in and push them into place. Upset, Diesel went to sulk in his shed. Bear came into the yard with a heritage special.
The uncle pulled and came to the shed for the rest. What's wrong, Diesel? Two new class 13s have come and taken over my duties. Bear chuckled softly, having seen the two 13s at work. Now you know how Duck and the others felt when you first came here. But I thought 13s worked in pairs. They look like single units to me. This would Diesel think. A few hours later, the fat controller was inspecting the yards. He thought something was wrong, but couldn't quite place it. Looking around, he saw Diesel sulking in the shed, and the two class 13s roughly banging coaches and wagon around. He went up to Diesel. Why are you in your shed and not working? Those two don't need me. They know what they're doing. Do they now? And do they meet the same standard I've come to expect of you, Diesel? I think not. I can hear the trucks complaining from here and the signalmans tell me those two stop short and seem confused when the trucks don't roll away. That's because they're 13, sir. They work in hump yards. Hump yards? I haven't heard of them. The hump yard, sir, had a hill at the top, sir. The 13s worked in pairs and would push the trucks to the top and then let them roll into place on the downward slope. Signalman had to work quite quick and know where everything was going to set the points right. I see. So you think that that's what they expect here? Yes, sir. If they are twins, one shouldn't have a cab or controls. He should be coupled to the front of the master unit and give extra power. It was called the master and slave principle. I see. Well, I have two cabbed engines here. I will look into this. Thank you, Diesel. And he walked off. Harry and Bert kept hitting the trucks hard and letting them roll. Careful, Bert. If they think we lied about being OAs, they'll scrap us. I know, Harry, but I don't get why the trucks don't roll like the shunter told us he could back at our old place. Must have been how he did it, Bert. In all my years, I never got trucks to roll over a mile into place as easily as he did. It's a simple job, Diesel said sliding up. From the bridge over there, the downslope is enough, but... From that bridge over there, the downslope is enough to get them rolling. But use those trucks over there first, the ones with the scrap in them. They need to be on the other side of the station for Patrick to take behind his next train. Harry and Bert smiled and took the old trucks, not knowing they were to going to be scrapped. They ran up the bridge and pushed them. The trucks rolled down the slope and into the harbour. Before they knew it, they'd rolled past the station, splashed into the sea. Oh no! Harry and Bert chased after them. Oi, Diesel, what was that splash? Ten cents asked as Diesel rolled past. He oiled up to Ari and Bert. Oh dear boys, what have you done here? Oh no, what happened? What do you think you're doing? Sending trucks into the water! Shouted the fat controller. I'm sorry, sir. We aren't used to harbours, sir. We're converted class 13 master and slave units, sir. I never had a cab before, said Bert. We didn't mean to lie, sir, and say we were 08. No one wanted us, sir. So Diesel was right. You are humpyard shunters. 
Yes, sir. We're sorry we didn't tell you, sir. Right then. Well, luckily the scrapyard is after two shunters. All the diesels look shocked. You're scrapping them, sir? No, never. I'm selling them. I found a harbour shunter to work with you, Diesel. This yard is too small for three engines. So Ari and Bert off to the island scrapyard to shunt there. Where two powerful engines will do better hauling the heavy wagons of scrap iron, and if they make a mess, it will be fine. Oh, thank you, sir. Just then, another diesel rolled in. Iris had come from the station. But she's been on the island for years, sir. I know. With Rosie taking over her role as station pilot, Iris can do what she was intended to here. To work with you, Diesel. Now all of you get going. Ari and Bert, I expect you to hear good things about you two at the scrapyard. But first, you have to clean up this mess. Yes, sir. Harry and Bert set about getting the old scrap trucks back on the track. Do you think they were sorry? I do.